Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. JSP Java Server Page Chapter 2 JSP Directives In this chapter, we are going to learn all about JSP Directive in detail. We'll cover what is JSP Directive, types of JSP Directive, then Page Directive, Include Directive, Tag Library Directive, Demonstration with Example and a Homework for Practice Project. So now let's see what is JSP Directive. JSP Directive provides directions and instructions to the container, telling it how to handle certain aspects of the JSP processing. A JSP Directive affects the overall structure of the servlet class. Since we all know that when we start making a JSP, the JSP container convert internally to a servlet. So while conversion, all these tags, all these directives and JSP definitions are going to be converted into the servlet car class internally. So JSP directive makes those connections and those piece of code in the form of tags and these tags are defined in a directives. Now this is a syntax we define the JSP directive in the JSP file. We give the tag percentage at the rate and there we mention the directive and along with the attribute and that attribute has some values that will be defined here. So this piece of code internally tells the container to direct and instruct and how to handle the certain aspects. Now let's see what all types of directives we have here in the JSP container. This is classified in three types. One is called page directive, then include directive and the tag library directive. Page directive defines page dependent attributes such as scripting language, error page and buffering requirements and importing error definitions and many more. So this particular directive basically helps to container to understand what all things you want to include in your JSP while converging into the servlet. Include directive includes a file during the translation phase. While we convert your JSP into the servlet, in that time this directive converted into the include servlet and include the class or include the JSP and uh, make it in a combining during the translation phase. Tag library directive declares a tag library containing the custom actions used in the page. So what is happening here, you are making your own tag and having your own definition of the tag and using it in your JSP. So declaration and definition of a tag can possible with the help of this JSP directive. Now let's take a look in detail of all these tags. Page directive. The page directive is used to provide instructions to the container. These instructions pertain to the current JSP page. You may contact or you may code page directives anywhere in your JSP. So page directives are coded at the top of the JSP every time whenever we make a JSP directive. The syntax will be the same. Uh, the tag, percentage, average, and page is a keyword attribute. You are going to use a keyword. We are going to discuss that in detail. What all attributes we have here and defining the value. So another way of declaration of this type of tag at the time of the XML format is called like tag JSP is a keyword. Colon directive is a keyword dot page is a keyword attribute equals value now let's see these are the attributes you can define in your page directive like content type content type character encoding scheme error page this defines url of another jsp that reports on java unchecked print type exceptions is error page defines the jsp page is a url specified by another jsp page error page attribute 
extends that's a superglass that the generated sublet must extend buffer that defines the buffering model of the output stream auto flush this controls the behavior of the servlet output buffer information to provide the get servlet information method we used to have this attributes is thread safe while implementing your multi threading system that time you can use this kind of attribute language programming language used in the jsp session to maintain the sessions from http protocol uh, el expression language el is nothing but the expression language this type of expression language if you want to ignore you can use this attribute is scripting enabled if the scripting elements are allowed for use and import is a list of packages or classes for use in the jsp is a java import statement does for java classes so while using your java classes you need to include the classes in a package form in a jsp we'll see that in detail while demonstration so these are the attributes for your page directives include directive the include directive is used to include a file during the translation phase this directive tells the container to merge the content of other external files with the current jsp during the translation phase you may code the include directives anywhere in your jsp so this is nothing but the tag which is used to include the other files it is not necessary to be included in any jsp you can include any other content but you have to provide the complete url of that content so for now we are taking an example of including your jsp the syntax to include the directive one of the way you can include is this tag the tag percentage at the rate include the keyword the file is the keyword equals and the relative url is your file path another way you can use is like this include a uh, tag jsp is a keyword directive is a keyword include is a keyword file is a keyword and relative url is the directory of your file now let's take a look about tag library what is tag library directive jsp api allows you to define custom jsp tags that looks like html or xml tags and a tag library is a set of user defined tags that implement custom behavior the tag library directive declares that your jsp uses a set of custom tags identifies the location of the library and provides means for identify the custom tags in your jsp page so what is happening in the tag library directive we are making our own tag so far we have learned we have html tag a head tag body tag style tag and other tag which is already defined in the browser programming or in the html programming or in jsp programming one of the way we can make our own tag is called the tag library this tag library can define your own definition so basically you are customizing your tag library and providing the lab, uh, tag descriptor to the container to define your own tag and use it in any way in the application what will happen here this is the syntax declaration tag and percentage at the rate tag library is a keyword uri is a keyword and the uri prefix pre conf tag so what is this value is all about here you need to mention your tag definition we'll see that later in the demonstration that will be more clear but for now this is the way we can declare and define the tag library directive in the jsp direct another way of declaration is tag jsp is a keyword directive is a keyword tag library is a keyword uri is a keyword and the uri is the definition and pre uh, prefix of tag is your tag definition and name let's take a look about the custom tag now so far we have learned about tag library descriptor now what is this custom tags when we say user defined tags so user defined must have some definition of it this is all about the declaration of tags now what is custom tag a custom tag is a user defined jsp language element when a jsp page containing a custom tag that is translated into the servlet the tag is converted to operation on an object that's called tag handler the web 
container that invokes those operations when the JSP pages servlet is executed. JSP tag extensions lets you create new tags that you can insert directly into a Java server page. This is what the specification introduced the simple tag handlers for writing these custom tags. So for example, we can write a custom tag. You can simply extend a simple tag support class and override the do tag method where you can place your code to generate content for the tag. This is the way we implement the custom tag. Now, after all this theory, let's see a demonstration to understand it better with a small example. We have a JSP web application that contains header.jsp, footer.jsp, home.jsp, home.jsp and a tag library TLD file. Header.jsp contains some static content, footer.jsp contains some static content and home.jsp is going to include header and footer and has have his own content which include your tag library definition. To understand it again, let's take a look in a demonstration. But before going into the demonstration, I want to show you the design of this application. I have an example of flower web application called flower.com. This flower.com contains three files, home.jsp, header.jsp, footer.jsp. Header and footer is the containing the static content. Home.jsp will be the dynamic content because this include your header and footer. So basically it's combining these two content and it has the page directive. This page directive will show you how we can work in a different forms and include the uh, other classes and use those objects, creating those objects from the class and use it in a Java programming. With the help of the JDBC, we can connect the database and get the values from the database. And tag library will show you the custom tag message displaying in this content from dynamically. So let's take a look at the execution of the JSP directive example flower.com. It's an online florist.com. That's an idea. And this application contains my some images and you can see uh, header header.jsp and footer.jsp and home.jsp which contains your custom.tld file and it has hello tag.java file and online florist.com so all these files are stored in a web application so that's how we made it online a custom tld file if you click on this, you can see the declaration and definition of the tag, custom tag. What I'm mentioning here, the tag, tag name, tag class, and the body content and close the tag. Now, what is the class file? This is my hello tag.java file and it has extended my simple tag support class and override the do tag method where I mentioned my hello custom tag just message you can pass it here hello flower so I made the chain in the message you can see when I execute this message so this execute this application so this is my custom tag so what is happening it goes to the TLD file then it goes to the hello tag.java file and it will execute your tag definition so this is tag definition next what I'm doing here it's a header.jsp. If you see header.jsp, this will include in the home.jsp with the help of include directive. Now, after include in tag, there is one thing called page. And this page directive using the attribute called import. And in the import attribute, I'm importing my classes and other APIs from the Java file. So you can see here java.sql. This helped me to include my JSP2 database. And this class file include my database connection API. That is called Java database connectivity API. So JDBC API connection is happening here in my this class. If you see the definition, 
this is what i'm doing in my online flourish.java file this is my connection for oracle and other functionality you can provide here insert display update delete and all the crud implementation refer to my jdbc api course there you will learn it in detail so with the help of import attribute in page directory i'm trying to include my database connectivity and getting the values now this is where i am retrieving the values and displaying in my page as you can see here i'm simply getting the values from the database flower order to from and date of order and all these variables are calling in this table to order from email and date of order and this will display in your gsp page and in the end i'm including my footer.jsp file too now let's take a look at the execution how it works so for that first we need to deploy it in our server web server tomcat run on server my flowers.com application it's starting and you can see the execution here so you can see this is uh, i have included an image of flower just to give a look of it and you can do it with the help of html tag image source or background image so this is my header content which is static and uh, this is my home content which is dynamic where it is getting the values from the database and getting the values how many times you visit the site this is my custom tag definition helloflower.com tag that's what we defined it in the definition helloflower.com tag so this is what the content from the tag definition and this is footer content which is static again this is what the execution of jsp directive where we have defined and declared and implemented and see the execution of page directive include directive and tag library descriptor directive so this is the demonstration and execution of jsp directive including the page include and tag library now there it's now it's homework time so you can do the same thing at your end and try to do something like this online florist service where we have five parameters defined in a database to address from address email address order id and order date make a web application nameflower.com where jdbc will help to connect database and display the details from the user to address from address order date order id email address using directive implement you can have your dynamic content displayed in your home page for more resources and assistance you can contact us techranch2019 at gmail.com so far in the jsp tutorial we have worked and we have learned about jsp intro and jsp directive next chapter we are going to learn jsp's important facts for jsp page directive and tag library directive and include directive all these directives implementation in a web application will needed your jsp api jar file that's a different kind of jsp library that you might need to import while working with this kind of application so make sure you import and include jsp api jar file in your web application page directive includes attributes based on your web application it's up to you what type of attributes you want to use there are about 13 attributes available in the library for example thread safe error page and your import and many more tag library implement custom tag override do tag and extend simple tag handler class and include directive execute during the translation phase scripting elements and actions so stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos let's make coding fun thank you